hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to set up and configure identity membership system in ASP.NET Core MVC application I'll make this video into different parts in first part I'll show you how to migrate the ASP.NET membership tables in SQL Server Management Studio so notice here all the tables are updating into our database it's done now let's check in my SQL Server Management Studio and notice right now in the user identity we don't have any tables let's refresh the tables of the user identity database refresh the table see here all the ASP.NET membership identity tables are added successfully in this user identity database if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before configure and set up the ASP.NET membership in Visual Studio ASP.NET Core first we'll check the database let me expand this databases folder as well as the databases notice in this databases at the bottom the last one user identity is my user database first let me expand this user identity database as well as the tables folder if you notice in this tables folder there is no any user defined tables so now my aim is I want to migrate the ASP.NET Core identity tables into this user identity database so now let's start the coding part for this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core web application go to file new project and from the projects I'm selecting the ASP.NET Core web application click next let's give the project name identity membership core MVC is my project name and I want to save this project in the deep pro drive in the project folder after that I'm creating the project then after that the next step let's select the template the, I'm selecting model view control which is the MVC controller and I'm using ASP.NET Core the version 3.0 then create and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer first in this project I'm adding the necessary packages to configure and set up the ASP.NET membership core identity so before that first let me expand this dependencies folder if you notice in this dependencies folder there is no any packages folder here so let's install the necessary packages into our project select the project folder select the project name right click the mouse manage nested packages go to browse and search for Microsoft Entity Framework Code Tool so let's check that one here it is the Microsoft Entity Framework Code Tools let's install this package first click install and the version I'm installing 3.1.0 okay I accept And here the package is installed successfully notice there is a small icon and the next package I'm installing the Microsoft.entity framework code.sql server click install click OK let's accept the license
and the second package microsoft.entityframeworkcode.sql server is installed successfully if you check in the dependencies folder now you see we got the packages folder when I expand that one see here we got the two packages just now we have installed now the third package we require the design select the design package click install and here the design package is installed successfully let's check in again in the solution explorer here we got the design package now the last package we require let's search for microsoft dot asp.net code identity entity framework and here we got the results and the package I'm looking for come to the bottom see here we got microsoft.asp.net core identity entity framework core select that one click install see here the identity membership core MVC packages are installing click OK let's accept the license and this package identity dot entity framework core is also installed successfully let's check again in the solution explorer see here we got an error entity framework dot design is not installed successfully so what I'm doing, I'm uninstalling this package, right click the mouse, so remove, ok, let's install again, Framework 2 so this is the design package, select the design package again and click install sometimes the packages does not install properly so so if it's not installed properly please uninstall and reinstall the package again see here again it's showing it's installed successfully let's check again on our solution explorer see here now we don't have any error messages here let's close this uh, nudge package as well as the error list, output message box, open solution explorer, app settings.json file, open that one. In this JSON file, we have add our connection string. Now between curly braces, between double quotes, I'm adding connection connection strings colon curly braces between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection we can give any name here colon between double quotes now in this double quotes I'm adding our data source connection string so to get the data source open server explorer in the server explorer there is a data connections right click the mouse on the data connections add connection Let's add the server name. After adding SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The database is the user identity. I have selected the database name, then test connection. Succeeded, okay, okay. And here we got the user identity.dbo is added into our data connections folder now we require the data source of this user identity right click the mouse go to properties see here in the properties there is a connection string which contains the data source just copy this data source and paste between these double quotes and the final step in the json file we need to add comma here 
because it's a JSON file. So after adding the data source, the connection string in this appsetting.json file. Now the next step, open Solution Explorer. Notice at the bottom in the project folder there is startup.cs file where we have to inject our dependencies. So first in the startup.cs file, we'll add the namespaces using Microsoft dot ASP code dot identity dot entity framework core and the next namespace using Microsoft dot entity framework core and the last namespace I'm adding the assembly references so for that using system dot reflection namespace after adding these three namespaces now let's inject the dependencies in the configure uh, in the configure services let's add our new services here the services we are getting from this i service collection so services dot add db context in this db context now here I'm adding the default class name for the ASP.NET membership identity which is the um, identity db context then add the options options um, dot use SQL server and the use SQL server will add our connection string name so let's add the configuration dot get connection string method and this get connection string method takes a string parameter between double quotes will add our connection string name in the app settings.json file which is a my connection copy that one and this here here the bracket we need to close semicolon so after adding the identity db context the default class name and the connection string now I'm adding our assembly our project assembly references also variable current assembly is a variable name dot assembly assembly dot get execution assembly dot get name method dot name property And let's add this now let's add this assembly variable current assembly in this services comma uh, object object dot migrations assembly and the migration assembly I'm adding this current assembly name the variable name I'm adding here that's it that's it we have added the services in this configure services method now the last step we need to implement the migration to create the ASP.NET membership tables in SQL server database open tools in the nudget package manager there is a package manager console open that one and here at the bottom we got the package manager console let's add add uh, migration init context between double quotes now between these double quotes I'm adding 
this identity db context class name enter and it will take time to initialize this migrations So here we got the migration is executed successfully. We notice the init migration, the tables, ASP.NET roles. Now let's update these tables. ASP.NET user claims is a table name. The role claims is another table. ASP.NET users is another table. And these all ASP.NET membership tables I want to update into my database. So for that, in the same package manager console, add update hyphen database. Let's update the database hyphen context between double quotes. I'm adding this identity db context. This identity db context is a predefined class to add these class names. Enter. Notice here all the tables are updating into our database. It's done. Now let's check in my SQL Server Management Studio. And notice right now in the user identity we don't have any tables. Let's refresh the tables of the user identity database. Refresh the table. See here all the ASP.NET membership identity tables are added successfully in this user identity database. That's it. In the first part I have showed how to set up and install the ASP.NET membership tables into our user database. Now in the next part I will show you how to create the user registration form using ASP.NET core identity membership.